Okay, so let's go ahead and try one of these problems. This one says, in a population of butterflies that are in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, 15% right, of them possess the uh, recessive allele, and we're calling this B. What is the frequency of the following? So now you need to find the frequency of the dominant allele. Okay, so the dominant allele. And then the frequency of the three possible genotypes. This would be homozygous dominant, this is the heterozygotes, and this is homozygous recessive. Right? So what do we have right now? We have uh, little b equals 15%. Uh, we want to convert that to a, um, a number uh, between 0 and 1. So you're going to divide that by 100 to get b equals 0 0.15, okay? So that is actually um, the frequency of the uh, recessive allele. So we could write it like this, okay? Okay, and that is equal to Q, okay? So we know that that's Q. Now, from the formulas that we have from the Hardy-Weinberg equation, <clears throat> we can use P plus Q equals 1, which is actually the sum of the frequencies of the two alleles at this particular locus. And the sum, of course, should equal 1. Um, so we can find the frequency of the homozygous or the dominant allele, okay, by plugging Q into this equation to find P. And what do we get? We get 0.85. Okay, and that is P. Okay, so now we know P and Q, we can easily find the genotypes, right? So these genotypes uh, is like saying right here. So we have the homozygous dominant, okay? That's the same as this frequency of that, okay? Which is in relation to the Hardy-Weinberg equation, that's actually P squared, okay? which is equal to saying P times P, right? Okay, so if we know what P is, we can find P times P, right? So now we're gonna go here, we've got 0 0.85, okay, squared, okay? That's like P times P, and then our answer. So I calculated that to be 0 0.7225. Now I'm carrying all these decimal places. I am going to uh, round up later. Right. So then uh, we've got the homozygous dominant. Right. So now we can find the homozygous recessive quite easily as well. Right. So we've got and that's the frequency of uh, little b, little b, which is the homozygous recessive uh, genotype. And that's like saying q squared, okay, which is the same as q times q, right? So then we get 0 0.15 squared equals uh, 0. Point, let's see. Zero point oh two two ten five. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we can find the heterozygotes, right? So uh, that is the big B little B. Okay, so that's the frequency of the big B little B, which is equal to two times P times Q. Okay, so um, <clears throat> there's no other way to write that other than 2 times P times Q. And the reason why there is a 2 there is because there's two ways you can get a heterozygote. So if you remember the Punnett square, I'm going to go ahead and show you this right now. Now, let's say mom is uh, this right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right? And then uh, dad is the same. All right, so then remember we do this. Oops. Mm. 
right? So um, let's imagine that uh, you are a heterozygote at a particular locus, okay? And your mom gave you the recessive allele and your dad gave you the dominant allele. Now, it could be the other way around, right? So your dad could have given you the recessive allele and your mom could have given you the dominant allele. Okay, so that's why there are two options for um, the heterozygote. So then what we do is two times 0 0.85 times 0 0.15 equals, and then the sum of these should equal one uh, if we calculate it out. And what I calculated was um, 0 0.225. So let's go ahead and do this. Zero point um, oh, two five five. Wait, yes, two five five. Okay, so the sum of these should equal one, and I calculated that out as well. So you can kind of check yourself that way. So what this is saying is that in this population of butterflies, <clears throat> seventy-two percent of the butterflies are homozygous dominant. Um, Twenty-five.